Hey guys and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper Single Pack, the one-tenth scale pre-painted model kit, the Kotobukaya from, I believe, Bandai. Uh, nope, just Kotobukaya. So this is the Disney Artifacts statue. So we're going to open it up here with our handy dandy slicer dicer. We're gonna see what's inside. Now, I believe this only has a few positions of articulation. It is it is a display model, precisely, and I have my Kotobukaya Django Fett here, so I will be comparing the two together for height, scale, ratio, that sort of thing, maybe some detail as well. All right, let's get started here, popping this guy open, and I don't see any tape. Oh yeah, there's a bit of tape there. They always have a bit of tape. And just run along the side here. None there, none there. Okay, and we're good. And let's pop this fella open here. Is that stuck? Oh yeah, there's see, yeah, there's more tape. There's always tape. Tape, tape, tape. There we go. Alright. Oh I missed one piece. That's alrighty. So let's get this out. So this is the display stand. Uh, these are magnetic. Um, you'll see with Django, he kind of lifts up a bit. But if you if you peel it as opposed to lifting, it comes off quite nicely. So we'll just put that there, and let's un let's get this guy out of here. Release you from your plastic prison. And he comes with three shoulder pauldrons. Uh, there's the uh, stormtrooper. This is the commander. Officer, I believe, and sergeant. I wonder if it tells you on the back. I don't see it properly listed here. So let, let me know in the comments which is which. I'm pretty sure from, well, I know in the New Hope series that this was the Stormtrooper Sergeant or Commander, I believe. They didn't have this, and then they had this as just the officer. But um, I think I'm going to try this one. I like, I like the black. This is kind of the classic. You can try, put whatever one you want. This is the F11D blaster rifle that it does come with. The upgrade from the E11 blaster. So very nice detail there. Well, hopefully the camera can focus in a bit. And it comes with this. The, uh, the stock comes down, which is actually really nice. You don't get that in like the Hasbro Black Series or anything like that. Nothing else seems to move. It's a pretty solid piece aside from the stock coming down for that additional support. Normally I think that part would come out so you can connect it to something if it were a, a real F11D blaster, but that's pretty good. And then we'll take off the arms here. So there is only the basic forms of, there is no articulation then. I thought that that had an extra piece of movement, but let's see, okay, here we go. So the chest goes up and down a bit, side to side, helmet is on a ball joint and then there's an additional ball joint so he can look up and down and he can really look down into the abyss or up at the uh, x-wing that's going to fly into him um, you got the grenade on the back the uh, the belt buckle or the belt with all the compartments very nicely detailed let's give him some legs to stand on now he's got the blaster pistol I forget the code I forget what this blaster pistol is called it doesn't come off and then that should just snap right in Dar, right in there. Ugh, get in there. Get in there. There we go. And the leg, there's no joints or anything here, so um, it's great for photography. If you get a few of these guys, if you're making a scene, you can have them stand and, and you don't see any joints. So from a distance, it looks like it could be a person in, in gear or in armor. Um, how does this clip on here? I don't see... Oh, I see. Okay. You know what? Let's do... Let's do the easy arm first before we have to clip that on. All right. So there we go. So that fits in nicely there. You can see his hand is ready to grip the blaster, so it'll be a standing standing grip. So it'll look very good. Uh, let's just close that up there. And let's get this on. So we have our basic trooper like that. Okay, I see here. So it looks like we have to get this in first. Oh, they do not make that easy, do they? But then there's no way to clip it in. 
How does that work? That doesn't look like it works easily. Oh, it clips into the neck. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that's that one. You can see it clips in. Move your head. FNN. There we go. That clips in there. Instantly he becomes a commander. And then... I think... I could be wrong, but I think this was the Heavy Trooper Pauldron. Um, if I remember from the Elite series, they had the Heavy Trooper wearing that. That looks pretty cool, too. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it with... Let's let's leave it with that one. And then the blaster rifle just should clip in right here into his hand. Yep, that works nicely. And that goes there. Don't want to bend the stock and lose that. And then let's move some of this aside. So there he is, all positioned nicely. Let's uh let's have him uh with a heroic sort of pose. Proud soldier of the first order, with it fully outfitted, and there's the back, and you can see it's got a nice gloss on it, very nicely done. Um, this was a cheaper one. I remember the Django Fit was a little bit more expensive. It came with a few more arm positions and stuff like that, but all in all, it's a decent stand, or a decent figure, and it stands quite nicely. I'll compare it to Django Fit. In terms of height, they're roughly the same height. Now, Jango Fett has some weathering, as you would expect with a Mandalorian. This is your, um, I guess as the clone troopers would call it, your shiny armor. Um, uh, Jango Fett's came with a different jetpack and different blaster rifles, came with, uh, or blaster pistols. Um, but all in all, you know, these, this one was, I, I believe, I got, I got this on sale, so this one was about twice as much several years ago. This was like five or six years ago. But all in all, very nice display. You can have them looking the same way at the same guy that's Mace Windu or Jedi who's about to lop off their heads or looking the other way and looking up. You can do whatever you want with them for display. Move Django back for a bit. So this is the First Order Stormtrooper single pack. It's a one-tenth scale um, from Kotobukiya, Disney, Star Wars, and I would give it... I mean, in terms of a figure, it's it's not meant to be a playable figure, so it's not fair to compare it to some of the Black Series. But in terms of, like, a bust to have, you can see the magnetic bits on the shoes. And there's also, what I like are the, um, the holes for pegs. So if you do have some of those stand pegs and you want to put them in, like, a display case or something, you can do that as well. You don't have to use the black stand that they give you, which is which is nice. This one, they didn't do that on the older models, and that was a big complaint that a lot of people had. So this is nice, um, pretty good. I give it like, you know, 8 out of 10 sort of deal. Uh, Kotobukaya, Star Wars, First Order Stormtrooper. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll be unboxing more, doing more reviews of Star Wars, Magic the Gathering, some model kits in the future, and have a good day.